Some fantastic work the SCBCA is busy doing in South Africa. But in South Africa, the period from the 3rd of November till the 3rd of December has been declared Disability Rights Awareness Month, with the 3rd of December being International Day of Persons with Disabilities. The theme for this year, Disability Month, is removing barriers to create an inclusive and accessible society for all. And this morning, we are very privileged to have Deputy Minister Bogapane Zulu of the Department of Women, Children and People with Disabilities, together with Dale Holmes, a representative representative for disabled people in South Africa in studio to tell us what we can expect from this month. Dale, Deputy Minister, welcome to Expresso. So very nice to have you this morning. Thank you. Dale, I want to, ask, I want to start with you. Taking a look at society in South Africa, do you feel that your opportunities are limited because of your disability? Well, the limitations that we have on the opportunities, we need more awareness mm. and we need access. For example, we need subtitles and we have to feel free that we can be accessible in a society for all in South Africa. There is so much that I can say, but I know time is limited. Yeah, exactly. Mm. But this is exactly why a month like this has been established. Deputy Minister, what can be expected from this month going forward? I think for us it's important that we actually indicate that this is a month where for us as a department we give everybody a chance, including Express or the show itself, mm -hmm. to begin to say for the past 12 months what have we actually done to elevate the rights of people with disabilities. So it's for every South African to take a moment. If you look at the, it says removing barriers. Mm -hmm. So the department we said the biggest barrier is people's attitudes. Mm -hmm. We can remove the stairs, we can remove all of the infrastructure base and we could have sign language interpreters. But if People with disabilities are not welcome. They're made to feel unwelcome. Mm. All of whatever adjustments that will be made would not be ac ac acceptable. So we're taking this month and we're saying to South Africans, is your attitude a barrier or a blessing to disability mm. development? And that's the question we are asking every mm. South African this morning. How do you think we're going to be able to overcome that, our attitudes? I think a show like this one goes a long way in terms of highlighting what the challenges are. So the more we have conversations, the more we have dialogues, mm -hmm. the more we educate each other about an inherent dignity that irrespective of your disability somebody has. So mm -hmm. this is the road and we believe that we're slowly getting there. Uh, we need mm -hmm. to just up the game a bit and have more partners mm -hmm. and begin to engage people with disabilities more mm -hmm. so that people can understand them. Exactly, and, and it starts with all of us in South Africa. Now, how can people out there participate in this month, both abled and disabled people alike? There's so many activities. I mean, one of the things is that you look at the impact of HIV and AIDS amongst people with disabilities. We'll be launching a best practice uh, booklet that has been consolidated by people with disabilities themselves on the 22nd of November, mm -hmm. where they will be saying, we've experienced what our barriers are and we went out there to find solutions. We mm -hmm. just want you to implement them and make us mm -hmm. part of finding solutions and keeping HIV out of South Africa. On the 27th, we're highlighting, and that is an open lecture that will be held at the University of Pretoria, and will connect all the universities, where we are saying, let's all look at HIV as a cause of blindness, and how many HIV-positive people are actually losing their sights. The president will close the month in mm. November, I mean, on the on 4th of December in Mpumalanga. So um, mm. the 3rd of December will have disability awards where we begin to celebrate the achievements of disabled people, but also we're celebrating companies that have made progress in the employment and creating economic opportunities for people with disabilities. Mm. We'll have um, a lot of um, awareness mm. workshops in terms of, for instance, what constitutes a disability-friendly budget that Treasury will facilitate with different mm. financial managers. We'll have disability dialogues that started from the 3rd uh, and has been mm. going through in all the, the district metros until mm. the third. So there's a lot of activities, there's a lot of hype, and we say into communities, mm. in the little corner where you are, take a moment and say, is my attitude a barrier or a blessing? Mm. So that you can begin to do something about it, and that's where we all start. It is very interesting what you're saying because, you know, it just takes a little bit of, just, just a second to stop and think about this and how important this month really is in terms of raising awareness. Just, just lastly, how far we, are we on the journey of raising awareness when it comes to disabilities and striving towards an all-inclusive society? 
I think we're getting there. Um, one of the advantages that we have as South Africa as compared to other countries, it's um, history is on our side. You know, came 1994, disabled people were there to be able to also contribute to what they believe South Africa in a democratic mm -hmm. society. So we've made a lot of progress, mm -hmm. but we still have a lot of hurdles ahead of us. Yeah. Rural disabled people are still trying to just get a piece of this uh, freedom and this democracy. But South Africa, compared to other countries in the world, we've made a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. That's why you have a visually impaired deputy minister, you have judges in the constitutional court, the highest court with disabilities, mm -hmm. magistrates, you have disabled people across from parliament to the legislatures to councillors. So you begin to see that the concept of self-representation in a mm. South African concept is very, very much appreciated. Mm. So that is what sets us apart from other countries because they don't have, but we also have disability recognized in our constitution. And that forms the basis that non-discrimination uh, mm. is uh, on the non basis of disability is it's not allowed. So we're making the progress, but the journey is very, very long. It is, but I believe we are strong enough as South Africans to get there. Deputy Minister, thank you so much. Dale, for you being here and just being a representative of disabled people in South Africa, thank you very much. That's it. So we will put all the info of this month on our website, expressoshow.com. Log on there. You will also be able to see a list of activities of what will be happening and also how you can get involved. Now, right after the break, we have a Paralympic athlete in studio. He has won three gold medals at the Beijing Olympics and also a silver medalist in the London Olympics. Meet him after the break.